Hey, what's up? This is your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Troy F. And we're going to touch on this NBA Youngboy situation. Now, I did a video yesterday where I talked about NBA Youngboy. And OG3 is going viral right now because he said something about his case and the potential for him to come home, which left me kind of confused. But we'll get to that after we get to Troy Ave. Now, the news in the street, or at least on social media, is that Troy Ave was in a shooting situation. Now, this is wild to say the least because Troy Ave's name has been relatively quiet in the last couple of months since he dissed Casanova. You know what I mean? He's had his little run in, his back and forth with Casanova. But other than that, man, most people don't, you know, check for Troy Ave like that or haven't heard much from him. Well, it surprised everybody when a news story started going viral saying that he got shot. So, Dre Ave did what most people would expect. He took to social media and addressed it. Now, before we get into the specifics of all this, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And, man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, man, let's talk about this Troy Ave situation. Now, some of you might be asking, who in the world is Troy Ave? Yes, Troy Ave is a hip-hop artist who has been in the rap scene for a very long time, it seems like now, man. I think Troy Ave popped at what? Like 2012, 2013, something around that time frame. And since then, his name has been synonymous with a lot of street stuff and crime. You know, he used to have a loose affiliation with 50 Cent. I don't know what that relationship is to this day, but it seems like every time that he used to get into issues, 50 Cent would be there and be down with him. Now, recently, Troy Ave started catching negative attention because of a situation that happened in New York City where one of his friends ended up getting shot. It was widely publicized. There was another podcaster that was involved who's currently incarcerated right now. And it, it was all bad, man. It was all bad. From that situation, man, a lot of things took place. Troy Ave, he had to go to court, and then he went to social media and started dissing the streets. He started claiming that the streets were a myth. He started dissing street life and people who, who, you know, lived up to the stereotype or even the myth of being a street dude. And a lot of people took that the wrong way. And I think he went on that whole campaign against the streets because of how he was treated after the situation took place in 2016 at a venue called Irvin Plaza. Now, there was a lot that took place after that, and I don't want to get into that. You can look up as much as you want about the Irvin Plaza shooting. It was a wild situation. And to be real, I went on record to say that the way things played out, if Troy Ave was a rapper in this era right here, he would have been like a hero. I mean, if everything is true that we've seen in the reports and all that about his homeboy getting shot and then him taking the gun from the dude and shooting back, all that is some superhero, you know, type stuff, man. Like, people would really be cool with him as far as that situation taking place in today's hip-hop. But back in 2016, it was a different kind of move, a different kind of vibe. It wasn't a lot of street dudes in rap like that were at the mainstream. So people looked at it a certain type of way. And I think that's why he went on that whole campaign. Now, today, we talking about some more senseless gun violence, though, man. And it's sad to say the least because hopefully Trey Ave is doing all good. But it seems like he's doing all right because he took the social media to talk about the situation. Now, there's a website called OwnSmash.com. And they basically put out this article and it says a couple of things. Now, I'm not sure if this is a verified report or just a story. So we're going to treat this as gossip and just say all this is alleged, right? Now, the headline says Troy Ave sends message from hospital after alleged shooting incident happened. And the story continues by saying a couple of things. So let's get to the report or the story, whatever, man. It says this. It starts off by saying Troy Ave July 2021 shooting hospital story emerges. As the Brooklyn representative shares a cryptic message on social media this week. Last night, Troy Ave was on the gram live for nearly three hours, giving game to fans and having fun with the ladies to cap off the session. So basically, this is saying that Troy Ave was on live, just like most entertainers go on live. And they have that fan engagement and interaction. It helps your fan base and makes sure that, you know, you stay relevant as far as your fans are concerned. And man, it's a fun time. Everybody likes to see rappers on live. The issue comes with the fact that sometimes this has been used in the past to set rappers up, to set regular people up in shootings and all sorts of different things, robberies. And that's why rappers have recently started to be more careful about how they go live and what clues they give out when they're live. You know what I mean? Now, the story continues by saying this. It says, before the live ended, Av was asking his sons 
which movie they wanted to watch, as many believed he was going to have a quiet night. However, hours later, Trey Ave shared a photo from a hospital bed revealing a very serious message of an alleged incident that happened. So stop right there. This basically, it seems like somebody probably was watching his live. I mean, if all of this is true, they were watching his live and knew he was going to bed, knew he was at home. See, that's the thing about that live, man. It can give out clues when you're not even trying to give out clues. Because anybody who's like, okay, well, we're looking for whoever to rob them or something, they'll know that by you just saying, all right, we about to take it in and go to bed for the night. So now they obviously know that you're at home. But I'll continue. Now, the story goes on to reference a post that Troy Ave made on social media that pretty much sparked this whole situation where people started to wonder if he was in a shootout or not and really kicked off this rumor. So Troy F posted this picture right here where he has his hand up to his face and it looks like he's smoking on something. I don't know if he's giving the sign that he's smoking on somebody or something like that or he's smoking on a pack. But in the caption of the post, he says this. He says, the shooter ain't get away this time. Devil emoji. Then he has a smoking emoji. Then he has hashtag hater pack RIP. We legally armed and dangerous. Hashtag God is great. Paper straight. Hashtag self-defense, and then three praying emojis. So this led fans to believe that Trey Ave was in a situation where he actually came out on top and somebody got smoked, man. So I don't know if Trey Ave is, you know, just trolling here because, you know, a lot of that happens. But it doesn't seem like he's ever dead. A lot of trolls. Well, nah, there's been times in his issue with Joe Button where he was definitely doing some trolling. You know what I mean? But I don't know if he would troll this hard and say he was in a shooting and post a picture of himself in the hospital in a mask if it wasn't real. Now, either way, fans are running with this and saying that Trey Ave was shot, he was in a shooting, but we really don't know the situation. And until something comes out from an official news source, we'll get the real story. But this is wild to say the least and goes to show that, man, that live it could be a gift and a curse when it comes to social media or even social media sometimes itself can be a gift and a curse and you really just got to watch yourself and you know figure out how you're going to conduct business on there safely now let's get to the next story and this is going to be a rather quick one okay so let's talk about this nba og3 situation now the last time we checked in with nba og3 he had got incarcerated or he was locked up allegedly and I don't know how he made it out of that situation or was he just released from that situation, but it looks like some YouTubers ran up to him in the mall and had some questions about him in NBA Youngboy. Now in this viral clip, it's relatively hard to figure out what they're talking about exactly. Now in the clip, it says he says something about six weeks. And it sounds like the interviewer, they ask him when is NBA Youngboy coming home. But to be honest, this could have been when he came home or how long he was locked up and, some, and him giving that reply. Because based on all the information that we know, and also based on the story that I did, courtesy of The Advocate yesterday, man, I did a whole video talking about NBA Youngboy's bond was denied. So a judge in Louisiana, a federal judge, basically denied him bond for any of his charges that he's facing right now. So I don't know how in the world NBA Youngboy would be home in six weeks. So it sounds like a bunch of cap. Now this clip is going viral. A lot of people are talking about it and getting their hopes up. But I mean, it ain't nothing wrong with that, to be honest with you. I would play the clip, but I don't know who owns it. So I don't play it. You know what I mean? But to be honest, that sounds like, like it's a stretch, man. Six weeks, like to know that he's going to be out in six weeks. I hope so. That would be great for his career. That'd be great for his fans and definitely be great for hip hop, but it doesn't look likely. Now with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. What do you guys think about this situation? What do you think about Troy Ave? Do you think Troy Ave got shot, then immediately went to social media to tell everybody he got shot because he was just getting off live a couple of hours ago? Or do you feel like he might be doing some trolling and this ain't a real situation until you see an official news report? Or what do you feel about this OG3 situation and the rumor that NBA Youngboy might be coming home in six weeks? Is that wishful thinking or are people just misconstruing what he said? Now with that, this has been your boy Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.